president called my colleague, the internal affairs minister, and I very late last night on the intelligence report on the diamonds. Well, I have already had a chat with the hierarchy of my ministry. I guess the chief of defense staff would have briefed you even before now. Well, yes, I have. However, to refresh memories, I'll do a brief rundown of the main points. Very well. We have just received intelligence reports from our counterparts in Nigeria that the former warlord Fudisanko, who died in prison some years ago, left behind a large cache of stolen diamonds. And now, the former Liberian warlord, who is now living in exile in Nigeria, wants to get his bloody hands on the diamonds. The brutal warlord has sent a team of mercenaries into Sierra Leone to get the diamonds at all costs, wherever they may be hidden. So what's the game plan? We have to move fast and be ready for them as they arrive the country today. But first, you must get the best of your men to form a formidable joint team against those mercenaries in order to recover the diamonds. The actual value of those diamonds cannot be estimated. But experts put it at three billion US dollars. Gracious God! That alone is enough to turn around the whole economy of this country. Then you must be realizing just how crucial this assignment is to the nation. So please, gentlemen, we must move fast. We've got to swing into action. Even as we await further intelligence reports from Abuja concerning the arrival schedule of the mercenaries. Yes, because even as we speak, gentlemen, the mercenaries may just about be jetting in. been cabled from Nigeria that my long time enemy Charles Taylor is sending three mercenaries to hunt for me and recover Fode Sanko's diamonds. Scorpion. Sir. Needless to say they won't get the diamonds but they must not leave this country alive. Understand? Yes, sir. These three mercenaries will be arriving at the Lungi International Airport at 3.30 p.m. I won't take excuses. Stinger. Sir. Stand by as backup for Scorpion. Yes, sir. Now go! Specially selected for this crucial assignment because your integrity and intelligence conforms with our requirements. Here are some photographs of the three mercenaries from Nigeria two young men and a lady. Do not underestimate them. You must keep out of their sight until you are led to the hideout of the diamonds. Understand? Yes, sir. You'll be joined by a third party from the police who will consolidate for future police routine investigations. Okay? All right, sir. It's now 2.30 p.m. The mercenary should be arriving by 3.30, according to intelligence reports from Abuja. 
So get a move on.
Just feel free, okay? Gentlemen and lady, you are most welcome to Sierra Leone. And I'm sure that incident has given you an insight of how difficult and suicidal your mission is. I am not a fighter, just a guide. I'm only paid to give you guides that you may inquire from time to time. Your job is to get to Diamond for the big boss way back in Nigeria. How you get it is all your brain work. I'm sure you're all equal to the task. I leave you now. Once again, my name is David. Please, you can have my card. Call me whenever you need me. Ah, let's not forget. You don't need to worry about information in this country. I know the in and out of this city. Everything about the terrain is right in my fingertips. Every day, who the hell were those punks that just had a shootout with us? You don't need a suit, sir, to tell you that those guys I don't Carlos this man. Do you think Don Carlos will smile and sing a hymn, knowing full well that some mercenaries are coming from Nigeria, jet into town to hunt for his diamonds? I'm talking about diamonds worth over three billion US dollars. Jane Masakoi, an assistant superintendent of police from Special Branch, the intelligence unit of the police. She had been sent in by the IG to work with you on the case. Lady, Ernest, and Peter. You'll be working together on the diamond fire. Gentlemen, sit down. So, the mercenaries from Nigeria are presumed, or rather, are reported to have arrived by helicopter at a private airfield. Intelligence reports reaching us indicate that they exchanged bullets on arrival with a rival home gang that is probably also interested in the diamonds. The trio must be somewhere in the city. Professor Saidu Bangura, a criminologist from Frabe College, will be joining us later in the minister's office to proffer suggestions as to how we can achieve our target. So gentlemen, prepare yourselves. Yes, We're going to have a meeting with the minister and Professor Bagura. Yes, sir. I won't take excuses, Scorpion. 
I told you that! But sir, the police came in, so I lost them in trying to get rid of them. Nonsense! Shame on you! These boys are here in this city, and you want to allow them to take away my diamonds? But sir, they dare won't get where diamonds are. They're far away in the caves, heavily guarded by over 20 gunmen and vicious dogs. They can't get at it. Because no one in Sierra Leone, apart from us, know the whereabouts of these diamonds. Let alone the mercenaries, they don't even know the Sierra Leonean terrain. Shut up! Or I break your score! How dare you say that? These punks are from Nigeria and cannot be underestimated. Their presence here will provoke and reawaken the government's interest. And once that is established, the government will do follow up. Then the old case, which has been long forgotten, will be revisited with vigor. Then there will be no hiding place for us or the diamonds. The moment the government does not know we possess or know anything about the diamonds, it will be better, if not best, if you will find these people and eliminate them before this issue is blown sky high. Understand? Yes, sir. Now, about the guy that was seen with a trail. Run around and see if you can find him. I think he's the elite. Then see to it that these three mercenaries are located and fixed. I don't care how you do it. You will let them escape when it was easier to fix. Now, I don't care how you do it. Now go! Get out! Out! We all know Professor Saidu Bagura, top criminologist from the famous Fabi College. Uh, prof has been teaching criminology for over 35 years in Nigeria, Ghana, and now in Sierra Leone. Uh, presently, he is head of criminal psychology at the FBC. Uh, prof, please meet my defense chief. It's a pleasure. And the police IG. Nice to meet you. And the crack squad handling the diamond case. Nice to meet you. And the professor has been appointed as a consultant criminologist by the presidency to try and lay out, in other words, fashion out strategies by which are the three billion dollar worth of diamonds may be recovered from the unknown custodians here in Sierra Leone or the invading mercenaries from Nigeria. But Right now, the most important issue is how best and how fast can we track down the invading mercenaries who are presently masquerading somewhere in this city? Definitely, and I'm quite sure, planning on how to make a way and return our diamonds back to Chelsea in Nigeria. The professor. Bothering me for sex every time. Oh. Connors, please. Just do it to me once. You've always had that and starved me. I will just die tonight if you don't make love to me. Please, Connors, please. Please make love to me. Hmm? Connors.
know, Don Carlos is a dangerous man in this city. I shouldn't be telling you about this. And I must say, it's a suicide mission. If Don Carlos has the slightest idea that you are after his diamonds, then you'll be in trouble. Friends, talk there. Put your hands up now, or I blow your freaking hands up. Put your hands up now, now, now. Put your hands up. Get in the car. Get in the freaking car now. From your reports, I gather that the kidnapped person is a supposed contact who is to lead the mercenaries to the whereabouts of the diamonds. And the kidnappers are the supposed custodians of diamonds and they don't want an intrusion, which explains why they don't want anybody coming close to their identity. Yes, Prof. So you must move in fast with your boys. Dislodge the kidnappers and ensure that the kidnapped person is not hurt. There is the possibility that they might want to eliminate him so as to destroy any link. So, if you can get just one of the kidnappers alive, that will give us a lead. And you must also ensure that you know where the mercenaries are staying. I think that is not a difficult thing to do, since you now know the trial officially. Local inquiries and investigations into those third-class rated hotels and above could help you locate them. And once that is done, you keep an eye on them every minute. They must be shadowed 24 hours. Understand? Yes. Good. Let's hit it. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Send a number to
that Davido is dead. What do we do? He was our only guy to Sierra Leone. I don't know. I don't know. Eh? And everything is even becoming more complicated by, by the second. Eh? And now the police are going to get involved. And they will even make matters worse. Look, if you people ask me, I will say let's pull back. Let's pull out and return to Nigeria. Shut up! Son of a bitch! Coward! Whatever happens, Mission must be accomplished. I don't care if the entire Sierra Leone army and their police come after me. Just imagine you're caught in the deal. Huh? Do you think Charles Taylor paid you tens of millions of US dollars to come to vacation of Freetown? Then you must have your head examined by a prince surgeon. Nonsense. So, whether the entire force is against us or not, the deal must go on, right? That's right, Bella. The money is worth all the risk in the whole wide world. Also, you better get that doctor to put it in your brain, huh? Yeah, Tom, I think you're right there. Mm. With 30 million dollars, there's no risk in this world one cannot take. <laughs> you're right. Now that's the only link has been eliminated. You have to move fast. You have definitely aroused the interest of the government's agents. You have started a fire, and you must put it out fast before it spreads. Ransack all the hotels in the entire city. Find this trail, and ensure that they're silenced. Understand? Yes, sir, sir. Be alert. Be cautious. Always stay ahead of the police. Some coffee? You actually look so worried. I can be of help. Come on, look, it might not be as bad as you think. Got a cigarette? Oh no, I don't have cigarette, but I've got whiskey. Care for it? Anything is better. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Oh uh, well, uh, it may sound so strange, but I think you are the most beautiful and delectable damsel I've ever seen in a long time. You really think so? I think so. I haven't heard that in a long time. You're kidding me? No. Come on. Then, whoever that is your man is probably not worthy of you. So to say. Now tell me. What's your name? My name is Nene. Nene. Nene Hawa. Nene Hawa. Nene Hawa, I tell you what. 
if you give me the chance in your life, I'll make you realize you have the potential to be the queen of the world. seen anything yet. Really? That's what I get. This is my Achilles, you know. I would always want you not to. Mm. It's really strange, you know. What? You have a boyfriend, don't you? A fiancé, Mike. A fiancé. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, you have a PNC and... You want to know if I've slept with him or not, right? Sort of. Well... My fiancé is too busy to have time for me. Tell me, who is this your fiancé? His name is Don Carlos. What? Don Carlos? You know him?
I'm talking about. It's a big catch -o. Don Carlos's fiance. You know, and the girl is usually sexually starved because of the man's uh, busy schedules or whatever. Then you must remain hooked with her. She's probably our only link for now. Yeah. Make sure you suspend her often in order to retain her. Keep her in your grip. She seems to have hot pants for you. And you seem to be her only solution. In fact, her only medicine. <laughs> Play on. Play smoothly. But move fast. We have no more time in this goddamn city. Not a week more. The heat is getting hotter every second. Hmm? That's true. That's true. You got it? I do. You got it, man. Yeah. Oh, you got that. <laughs> Uh, we're looking for some people we believe are staying in your hotel. Can I see your guest list? Thank you. Your manager? Uh, yeah, I want to call him, but I need to know your identities, please. I'm Mr. Security. Security. 
were made to understand you have some wanted men in your hotel room. Is that true? Wanted men? Exactly. I don't understand. Check your records properly. Two young men and a lady. You have an idea where they checked it? Like I said, check your records. Okay, give me one minute, please. Okay. Um, I'm having a lady and two young men in room 8 to get 10. I'm going to check there and see. by this time of the night? Uh, probably in a club, but they'll be back very early in the morning. Any idea of a particular night club? No idea, officer. Manager, we won't take too much of your time, but um, we do hope to speak with you later about these three hoodlums, and it's very important. Okay, officer. Meanwhile, one of our men will be stationed permanently across the road and in front of the hotel to keep surveillance of the drill. We're not here to disturb you. We're not here to disturb your business. This is a state assignment. And that's okay. All we need from you is to cooperate with us. Okay? Yeah, I'll do that, officer. Okay. okay. So good night. You're welcome.
stop the police, the police. Oh shit, the police is closing in on us. Come on, make a U-turn and return fast. Make a U-turn to where all our things are inside the hotel. We have enough money, they are on our credit cards. We'll do the shopping later. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, the possibility is that the missionaries from Nigeria uh, may never come back to the Peninsula Hotel again. Since uh, they, they cited your working van by the side of the hotel, using a labeled van was an error. They are probably going to check into another hotel. And the bullet wound for sustained by one of them may be fixed by them without any help from the hospital. It won't be long before we catch up with them again, sir. Our men are everywhere. DSPJ. <laughs> How about that man that was shot? How much could he speak before he died in the hospital? Well, nothing much, Professor. He only told us that uh, Mr. Albert Don Carlos didn't is his boss shortly before he gave up the ghost. Nothing much. Don Carlos Dean. <laughs> Don Carlos. How strange. Well, Ernest, I want you to refer to the records and dig real deep and hard about this Don Carlos man. We need a complete dose on him that will tell us how to focus. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that was it. Notable points in Albert Carlos's dossier. Right away, sir. The points here are brief, concise, and plain. Born in 1950, Carlos Dean attended the Forbe College and studied crime management and control. On graduation, he joined the army, but realized it wasn't well paid. He resigned and went into private business dealing in diamonds. In 1975, he was caught in Monrovia for smuggling diamonds. But he got away with the charges against him because the court lacked evidence. He later joined the RUF in 1992, alongside notable rebels like Fodi Sanko, who collaborated with Charles Taylor of Liberia to steal and amass diamonds. When Fodi Sanko was arrested and detained, Carlos Dean laid low until Fode Sankolita died in detention, Albert Carlos Dean reappeared on the scene two years later as a merchant. Although his nature of business is not well established, he is believed to be over $100 million rich. That is fantastic. $100 million? That's a serious record. Does anyone here have any reason why Carlos Dean should not be summoned for interrogation? 
Do you want my opinion, sir? You're welcome, please. I think you should be shot on sight. <laughs> <laughs> that is an opinion. <laughs> well, points well taken. <laughs> to ever lose you for a minute. Will you marry me? I want to be yours forever. But you're getting married to Don Carlos, your fiancé. That monster, good for nothing devil. Why do you say that? And so, yeah. Will you please marry me? I will love to marry you. But I don't have the money I want. Besides, Don Carlos will kill me. But we can get married, go to your country and, you know, disappear. Nene, you don't understand. You don't. Look, I am after his Diamonds. <laughs> Swear to God, we can get it if we know where they are. That is why we came to Sierra Leone. <laughs> and as soon as we accomplish this mission, you and I will leave at once for Nigeria as husband and, and wife.
bastard Harlot has betrayed me. I am sure he had talked to them about the whereabouts of the dance. I will bury her alive. Sir, the identity has just been revealed to the defense headquarters. And the army and the police are right now on their way to your house. News. Scorpion, sir. Let's get together and evacuate the diamonds from the caves. Yes, sir. Then we'll leave the country at once. Yes, sir. Now, this is where we are. The diamonds are kept somewhere here in a cave. The roads leading to the cave are rough and hilly. Now, penetrating through the other side of the mountain is absolutely impossible. The cave itself is guarded day and night by over 20 armed men. Over how many? 20 armed men. That's interesting. Hmm. Almost a completely impossible mission. Shut up! Nothing is impossible. Now let's get moving. Now, fresh information reaching us shows that Don Carlos is trying to skip the country. He's moving towards the mountain where we believe the diamonds are hidden. He's trying to evacuate the diamonds and skip the country. But sir, what's the next plan of action? Well, you are to lead a battalion towards the mountain. Okay, sir. And await further instruction from the headquarters. Right, sir. Jen and I will be in the radio room for further instructions. Good luck.
confirm your request. This is Swordfish to Barracuda. Move aggressively towards the caves and retrieve the diamonds from the bloody invaders. Move now! Now! The diamonds? Yeah, yeah. You say that again. This is the cop, please. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Now go home and get married, you Absolutely. know. Absolutely. <laughs> we cannot go home and get married too, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. We've yeah. got it yeah. that one, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Please, don't I can explain. Don't, don't do it. Don't please, I can explain everything. I'm sorry, Don. Don't. Oh, 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 in love for one another well holding on arm in arm come let's rebuild us then ruin no holding back the skill and your pride the days ahead unspeakable joy will bring in a serial love we're not alone sweet african home but we're just in with hope we roam now the freedom will come down Father, we fall, but we rebuild all our broken wall. I got one question for Harley and Tom. I ask one, but I ask to all. Cop a gun and go shoot your brother down. Whose agenda? Hey, who wears the crown? How about the diamonds on the finger of the princess? It made another African mother go childless. A serial long black brothers can you see? It was a plan and a conspiracy. They get us with anger, power and money These people are so greedy They rob from the needy But let truth, love and unity Bring no closer Express your spirituality Love your brother While holding on, arming on Come let's rebuild all the brain No 
holding back the skills on your brow.